Hey guys and welcome back to another video and just a quick update on this energy monitor. Now it's 19 days since I did install and did reset according to uh, my electricity provider and I wanted to wait for a full month to give you the data but the thing happens is that tomorrow there will be here a team that will install the solar panels for uh, photovoltaic production electricity production and I'm not really sure how this thing is going to behave uh, with the energy production so I'm going to give you the sample that I've got right now which is 19 days since I did install and I just went to count how many kilowatts we consumed and the total that I've got outside on my official counter or meter is 264 kilowatts and if I go here to the menu uh, we will see that we have 268 Kilowatts. So we are talking about in 19 days an uh, error of 4 kilowatts. Now one more interesting thing is that on, when it did pass 10 days I did measure and we were almost with a error of 3 kilowatts. So it's not exactly 10 days 3 kilowatts, 20 days 6 kilowatts. It's not. Uh, this depends obviously and this is my opinion on some of the uh, electric machines or devices that we use that have different power consumptions and something like that that just mixes a little bit here so it's not exactly but the uh, margin that i will suspect that i will have at the end of the month is an error of up to six kilowatts and we are talking about 30 days and an average of 400 kilowatts which is the uh, number that i'm expecting to see in roughly 11 days or so so guys just to give you the feedback i'm really happy especially because i've tried one a lot more expensive gadget and with a higher uh, error margin at this moment i've got an owl inside we can't see it. Uh, i'm only testing it for two days but what i can say right now is that I'm not really happy i will share my full review as soon as i'm ready but i'm not really happy and on the other hand with a really uh, budget solution like this one i'm really happy because it's really accurate at this moment it can measure everything and with this small gap of error i can live with it no problems at all i'm also going to install another one right here uh, when the guys install my solar pv so that i can measure my production and my consumption and I'm not really sure how it's going to behave and that's the reason that I'm doing this video right now. As a consumption device, it's great. As a solo production, I will be only able to tell in a few days or weeks. And that is it. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, guys, don't forget the usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.